question. You are given a project with a single virtual private cloud, VPC, and a single subnetwork in the IS Central 1 region. There is a compute engine instance hosting an application in this subnetwork. You need to deploy a new instance in the same project in the Europe West 1 region. This new instance needs access to the application. You want to follow Google recommended practices. What should you do? Option A1. Create a subnetwork in the same VPC in Europe West 1. 2. Create the new instance in the new subnetwork and use the first instance's private address as the endpoint. Option B1. Create a VPC and a subnetwork in Europe West 1. 2. Expose the application with an internal load balancer. 3. Create the new instance in the new subnetwork and use the load balancer's address as the endpoint. Option C1. Create a subnetwork in the same VPC in Europe West 1. 2. Use Cloud VPN to connect the two subnetworks. 3. Create the new instance in the new subnetwork and use the first instance's private address as the endpoint. Option D1. Create a VPC and a subnetwork in Europe West 1. 2. Peer the two VPCs. 3. Create the new instance in the new subnetwork and use the first instance's private address as the endpoint. Now take 10 seconds to think about the answer. B is incorrect because VPC is a global resource and thus, there is no need to create a new VPC. Her subnetworks are regional too. Exposing the application to an internal load balancer will cost more and it is not needed at all. C is incorrect because Cloud VPN requires that addresses be reserved for connection thus, you will pay for reserved IP and also the resource being used. VPN is best when performing data transfer between cloud and on-prem with 3 GBPs max. Nothing is happening with on-prem and this, it is not needed. D is incorrect because, in GCP, VPCs are global, and subnets across different regions can be accessed using private IPs, no VPN setup required. Correct answer is option A.